USD gets slammed by month-end flows. So what are month-end flows? Well, guys, the idea of month-end flows is quite it's quite an inexact science, it's quite an abstract idea, but is, it is essentially the idea that towards the end of the month, uh, asset managers, who are pretty much the largest players in global financial markets, uh, asset managers will be rebalancing their portfolio. So remember with asset managers, they have these rules generally that they try to stick to, like a certain allocation for bonds, maybe 25%, a certain allocation in equities, maybe 60%, la di da di da you know, they have these kind of rules. And basically, at the end of the month, you can sometimes see markets move in weird and unpredictable ways. And to be honest, nobody knows what these are, but these consistently happen at the end of the month, every single month, at a time when asset managers are rebalancing their portfolios. So people basically put these moves down to month end flows. And we've seen it today in the dollar, like I said, in, in, like in the title of the video, uh, the dollar today getting hit hard, likely due to month end flows. Um, can month end flows be predicted? Could, did anybody predict this today that the dollar was gonna get hit? Well, actually, yes. Um, various institutions have these mathematical models where they do and seemingly quite reliably predict what might happen with month end flows. So a bunch of banks were calling for dollar weakness and the rationale was basically that um, US equities gained a lot uh, in the last month in May. Um, and that means that US equities as a weighting of you know, various asset managers portfolios was higher. So then they would have wanted to potentially sell some US equities and sell some dollars to allocate that money you know, internationally into other equity markets or bond markets or whatever. So that's very simplified. I'm not a mathematician. I haven't got like a PhD in mathematics like the people who design these models. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but that is very simply the rationale behind today's move lower in the dollar. Uh, basically people getting out, they were overexposed to US assets, so they were selling the dollar. Um, and these models can be quite good guys. So I do advise that towards the end of the month, you keep an eye out on your tweet deck, on your Twitter feed, for people talking about what various institutions are saying regarding these month-end flows. That is pretty much it from me for now, guys. I will see you in the next one.